Hi all and welcome to this episode. As you all know, IFRS 17 is the new standard regulating how profit and loss are accounted for and how their estimate changes can be reported over the current period. Today we will uh, investigate together how to read this important information uh, from the IFRS 17 standard solution developed by System Morph in the cloud. This episode is part of a series uh, explaining IFRS 17 and the System Morph standard solution in detail. For this reason, here I have placed a number of links uh, to important episodes you might also be interested in. Let's then start by opening the reports notebook from the IFRS 17 uh, template project. We are in section 13 of the reports notebook, which you can find in the IFRS 17 template project. This section is devoted to financial performance, namely profit and loss analysis. The financial performance report discloses changes in the uh, IFRS 17 balance sheet items over the current period. The granularity and degree of aggregation can easily be varied, as I'm going to explain. Um, but first, um, the total income figures are reported in several categories that we are going to check together. There is a column uh, split between two parts of the insurance business. Liabilities for incurred claims here, uh, here in the left side and liabilities for remaining coverage, covering future claims that have not yet occurred. Row-wise, the main category profit and loss is further divided into a component for non-financial insurance services, distinguishing uh, revenues and expenses, and a component for financial income and or expenses, uh, which presents uh, um, the two subcategories uh, devoted to LRC, liability for remaining coverage, and leak for uh, incurred claims. Uh, Non-financial and financial profits and losses are not always reported separately, as we see here, by other IFRS 17 implementations. The system of solution um, supports this split as it offers some valuable insight into profit generation. This is what I noticed. Um, lastly, the last category, other comprehensive income, reflects changes in the estimate of uh, present values and in risk adjustment occurring between the beginning and the end of the, recurring, the current period. And these are reported separately for LRC and LIC. We notice that uh, non-financial insurance service assault category has a detailed structure first distinguishing revenue and expenses, as we have seen before. But then also if we um, click on insurance service, uh, insurance revenue, this has several sub items, such as premiums, which is usually the dominant component, but also contractual service margin, also called CSM amortization, and many others. Similarly, the uh, insurance service expense here has many subcategories too, among which we recognize claims, which are the dominant contribution, as well as uh, reinsurance premiums, but also commissions and uh, several sorts of insurance related expenses. In the present example, the um, liability for incurred claims um, have a negative comprehensive income, mainly because there is no premium income in this category, whereas the liability for remaining coverage has a distinctly positive income. And this gives a overall assessment of the financial performance for every portfolio. The moment uh, um, we would like to focus on uh, individual units of account, we can enhance the analysis by um, enabling the column slides by group of contract. So that now um, they are compared side by side. And we can even uh, specialize um, and uh, filter out um, all of them except uh, um, the one we are particularly interested in. For instance, 
yeah, why don't we have a look at the BT 1.1. Um, we can enable the filter uh, as, I've, as I just did. And by re-evaluating the report, uh, voila. Uh, so this uh, DT 1.1 group of uh, insurance contract is uh, an LRC. And in this manner, we can continue the analysis uh, for this particular unit of account, uh, which is provided in the System of Firefighter 17 template project. Hope you find this video helpful to guide you through the financial performance of legal entities that will disclose their results according to the new standard. Please let me know by giving it a like and uh, do not hesitate to ask me questions directly in the comments below. I'll see you in the next episodes. Bye for now.